Hello, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to go over how to make these five procedural marble materials. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my world tab and I'm going to make sure you're on cycles render. I'm going to load in one of my HDRs to light the scene just so that we can get some nice lighting over our, our material to make sure it looks nice. So now you can see that our cube is lit using this HDR, and that looks pretty nice. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and delete the lamp, and select the cube and press S5 to scale it up, and position the camera however we want to. Right about there looks good. Maybe I'll bring it down a little bit. Now, we're going to drag this up and switch this to the node editor. And let's make a new material and let's call this Marble 1. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to select this diffuse shader and delete it and replace it with a principled shader. Drag that into the surface and let's see how this looks so far pretty much the same. The only difference so far, let's come down here and set the roughness down to zero, and now you'll see that we get really nice sharp reflections in the material. And that's something that we want in this material. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a texture that I don't see used very often, we're going to add the magic texture and plug that in to our base color. And we can see, well that certainly looks interesting, it doesn't look very much like marble. So the next thing we're going to do is add a texture noise texture and plug the color into the vector. And now this looks a lot more interesting. One thing here is that the edges are very smooth, and if we want to make the edges more lumpy and fuzzy, then we can turn up the detail and the noise. I'm going to set it to 6, and that's looking a lot better. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead, drag these out, and add a color ramp between the magic and the principled VSDF. And now it's black and white, and you can adjust these color stops to adjust how the color interpolates over it. I'm going to change this black to be a lightish blue material. That looks nice. And then I'm going to hit the plus button to make another stop in between, and I'm just going to drag this over to the left to sort of constrain the blue a little bit more. And that looks fairly nice. Now we can hit this plus button for our second marble material, and we'll call this Marble 2. For this material, let's disconnect the noise from the magic, drag that away, add in our basic map, our texture coordinate nodes into the magic, and we're going to replace this magic texture with a wave texture. And now we're going to add a color mix node and set the blend type to add, and then plug the color from the noise texture in to the color to slot. And what this will do is it'll add, depending on this factor, it'll add the noise texture to the texture coordinates, which will sort of, instead of using the noise for the entirety of the wave texture coordinates, it'll use the noise to distort the texture. I found a value of about 0.2. Looks pretty good for this. And that's about all we need to do. We can also set the distortion of the noise to something like 0.5, just to make it look a little more interesting. And then I'm going to take these color stops, and I'm going to set the hue 
down to zero for both of them. And I'm also going to turn down this val the value on this last one to give us this nice dark red stripey color. Maybe I'll even drag this stop a little more to the right. And that's looking pretty good. The next thing we're going to do now is hit this plus button for our third marble material, we'll call this marble 3. All we have to do for this one is replace this wave texture with the Voronoi texture. And then adjust these color stops, let's remove this one in the middle and set this one to very very dark grey. And then we'll pull this white into the middle and pull this gray forward, and then make another gray, pull it around the white, bring it down, and then have a black color stop at all the edges. That looks pretty cool. We might want to turn up the distortion to something like 0.5. That looks pretty cool. Let's pull these color stops around. And that's looking like a pretty nice darker marble material. The white looks really nice on this. And now, for our next marble material, hit the plus button, we'll call this Marble 4. What we're going to do is we're going to replace this Voronoi texture with just a plain old noise texture. And let's turn up the distortion to 0.5 and turn up the detail to 6. And let's get rid of a bunch of these color stops. And let's set this one to a whitish one. And then add another stop. We'll set this one at the edge to kind of an orangey color. And then we'll set this one to a kind of bluish color. And you can see that the colors aren't showing up very much, and that's because the values in the noise texture aren't mapped between 0 and 1. They're mapped between um, a smaller range of values between those, so to fix that, we're going to normalize the noise texture with another color ramp. And what we do with this one is we just drag up the black until we start seeing dark patches of solid black appear, and we want to stop the black color stop right before that point. And then we take the white color stop, and we do the same thing. We drag it in until we see big solid patches of white come in. And then we stop it before that point. So let's drag this to about there. And then we plug the color of this into the factor of the other color ramp. And that lo that's looking a lot better. That's a nice kind of an orange and white material. Orange, white, and blue. Just like the Blender logo. And now for our final marble material, hit the plus button. We'll call this Marble 5. What we can do is we're just going to drag all these nodes out. Add another color mix node, set the blend type to multiply, and drag in the factor from our other noise texture into this. And what this will do is it'll mix together the two noise textures, and we can adjust how much they're mixing with this factor. This will make just make the texture a little more interesting. But the problem with it is that it reduces all the values, so we're going to have to renormalize it with the color ramp, because as you can see, it's completely messing up the colors. So let's take this black, drag it all the way down to the bottom, and then slowly pull it up.
and right about there is pretty good. Now let's take the white and slowly drag that down. And right about there looks pretty good. Now let's take our other color ram. Let's take our other color ram. And let's delete all the color stops except for one. Set this to a bright reddish color. Add another color stop. We'll set this to a bright yellow. Set this to a nice big bright yellow. And then add another color stop. This rendering is slowing everything down. Add another color stop, drag it all the way to the right, set this to red again, and we can see the results over here. Now let's drag in both of these color stops real close to the yellow. And then just to make it a little more interesting, we can play around with the hue and the saturation of these just to make the colors a little different. And then on each side, set the edge color stop to a dark red. And that's like a nice fiery looking kind of a marble material. I'd love to have a vase made out of this stuff. And there you go. That's all five marble materials. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments section. If you liked the video, press the thumbs up button so I can make more. And if you want more videos like this, press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.